Welcome back to We Love Arsenal channel. Arsenal is facing Crystal Palace in the Premier League opener on Friday night. Let's check out the possible 11 who would start for the away fixture. Starting in goal, Aaron Ramsdale will be in this position, he has made himself as the first choice keeper. Ramsdale's distribution was breathtaking in pre-season, Arteta's philosophy of building from the back, passing through the pressure makes Ramsdale an integral part of this young Gunners team. Ben White will be in the right-sided wing-back position. Right-back is very crucial in this fixture as Wilfred Zaha would be targeting the wing-back to have a run at our goal. Ben White has to be at his best form to stop Zaha from doing his dancing moves. He should also refrain from making silly fouls to keep away from any bookings especially in the first half. Zaha is known to be a hot-blooded player who would become frustrated soon, if Ben White can keep Zaha away from making any destructive runs, we Arsenal are in for a good match, William Saliba would be playing as the right-sided centre-back just like the pre-season matches. He has been excellent in pre-season racking up clean sheets for fun. Calmness under pressure situations is what makes him special. He should be ready for Zaha, Jordan Ayew and Edward of Crystal Palace. If he could contain the threat from the home side, we could walk away from a win. Gabriel would be as the left-sided centre-back. Gabriel being a left-footed player should sweep up the driving runs from the Eagles when Zinchenko joins the midfield. Counter-attacks would be the ploy for Crystal Palace and if he could curtail the opposition movements, Arsenal can keep a clean sheet. Corners and free kicks will be another area to be vary about from Crystal Palace. Keeping the crosses away and leading the backline is the responsibility for Gabriel. Zinchenko, the left back, has the close control to be at the midfield when Arsenal bomb forward. He should be vigilant for a counter-attack from the opposition as it will be the serious threat posed by the Eagles. He should always provide an option for a pass for Gabriel and Ramsdale, as we might look to play from the back. Thomas Partey will be the central defensive midfielder who would be the pivot, from which any attacking moves from Arsenal has to initiate. He has to be physical with the midfielders of Crystal Palace to soak up the pressure and nullify their attacks. Partey should be in form to maintain possession for the Gunners. At times when Arsenal is on the attack, he should take up on himself to sweep up any counter-attack on our way. Jacko will be deployed slightly ahead of Partey. This role towards the attacking area of the pitch helped him massively. He has been providing assists whole through the preseason friendlies. Jacko should refrain from committing silly tackles as it would get him the booking. He has the history of losing his cool and getting himself the marching orders in crucial matches. Even though Odegaard is named as the new captain of Arsenal, Jacka seems to be the one with the voice. He should keep his emotions in check to start the campaign with a win for the Gunners team. Saka will be on the right, tucking the touchline and attacking the Crystal Palace backline. If he could surpass the left back of Crystal Palace with his tricks and canny feet, he could give the cross across the goal for Gabriel Jesus, Martinelli or Odegaard to have a pop at the opposition goal post. Saka should also be attentive to the threat of Zaha as he will be asked to help out Ben White if needed. Odegaard is really the springboard which helps our attackers to pepper the goalpost of Crystal Palace. He has been an assist king in pre-season, the movement in front will enable him to spray the ball, right to the path of our wingers and strikers. He could also get himself to promising areas if the defensive shape of the opposition looked stretched. Odegaard is given the responsibility of the captain and he should carry the team on his shoulders to victory. Gabriel Martinelli with his energetic running, can stretch the Eagles and this would give the space for Jesus and Odegaard to run into. The combination play with Gabriel Jesus was so refreshing in pre-season, if he could do the same, Palace would find it difficult to contain our potent attacking threat. Striker role would have Gabriel Jesus, as his displays in pre-season against Chelsea and Sevilla has kept the fans more excited. He would be the trigger for the pressing by our front players. Rigorous and energetic pressing by Arsenal would give away mistakes from the Eagles' backline, if he can make use of such chances, Arsenal could leap in front. It's the season opener and every eyes of the footballing world would be on the fixture. Arsenal should send out a message to the rest of the league with a convincing win over Crystal Palace.